Hello, sixth grade. So today you're going to be working on an assignment where you open up Tsunami Alert and you work on five different designs and you track your progress by recording the coordinates of where you place the sensors and once you run your test you record um, all the the specs like the cost and if all warnings were received and um, you know all that stuff the amount of warning time you'll be filling out a table there's an assignment posted in Google Classroom called research in tsunami alert after day three So this is what it looks like. You can see that you're gonna do five different tsunami warning systems. So that's what this one, two, three, four, five is. Um, the location of your sensors, that's using the coordinates for um, exactly where you place your sensors on the grid. And then after you test, that's where you'll record your cost and your warning time, false alarms, and if all warnings were received. So just like normal, you will go to class link and open up Amplify. Now, when you open up Amplify, technically we're on day four, but um, the day four stuff, you'll really just start that tomorrow when you are reading chapter four from the dossier. So you go to Futura Workspace and find plate motion. You'll be on day four, and if you click on um, that triangle with the wave in the upper right-hand corner, that'll take you to Tsunami Alert. So you'll be using Tsunami Alert, bouncing back and forth between this screen and your research in the sim. So I'm going to do one example for you. Here's my example. You can see that I placed a couple of earthquake sensors up here because I remember this being a convergent boundary. I placed a couple of uh, shallow sensors down here because again this is a convergent boundary where we might expect some earthquakes that would cause a tsunami put a couple of shallow sensors here and a deep ocean sensor here. Um, then I took some notes and wrote down all of my coordinates, you know, based on the grid. You know, this one would be C3. And then of course I've got all of my data here as far as warning time, warnings received, false alarms, and total cost. Okay, so you can see that I plugged in that data. So where I placed my sensors, I put in the coordinates right there um, for location of my sensors. I rounded my cost to the nearest million, and I rounded my warning time to the nearest minute, and then put in my false alarms and showed no for the fact that not all warnings were received. That means that's bad, because that means there were tsunamis that never set off a warning it just happened surprise tsunami okay now before i do another tsunami warning system i need to insert pictures from my five tsunami warning systems so i need to insert a picture for each of the high magnitude earthquakes each of the high magnitude earthquakes just like in this example for my system one. Now system one is just the first system that I put together, the one that looks like this. Remember, after you've run your test, you can click study earthquakes, and then the highest magnitude earthquakes are gonna be up here. And these are the ones that normally cause tsunamis, if you haven't figured that out yet. So I'm gonna click on C3, I'm gonna go to C3, and that's right there. When I click on that, um, you can see the tsunami waves are traveling ocean-wide. And I need a picture of this. 
So the easiest way to do that is go down here in my search bar. I think this is the easiest way. And start typing the word snipping, snipping tool. And um, when the snipping tool pops up, it looks like a window that you can move around. And if you click new, you can click and drag to snip a screenshot of anything on your screen. And this is what I want. And that basically copies it. So I'm going to minimize that out of my way. Go back to my Google Doc. Click next to System 1 and paste. Um, I'll go ahead and right click and paste. And there it is. Okay. And then I'll go back and do that for the rest of those um, higher magnitude ones. So there was one at L6. So I'm going to go to L. I'm going to go down to 6 and click on that. And that one also set off an ocean-wide tsunami. So I'm going to click on my snipping tool, click New. I'm going to grab a snip of that, which copies it. I'm going to go back to my Google Doc, right click, and paste that in there. So I'm going to do that for my other two high magnitude earthquakes, and then I'm going to go back and come up with another design where I go back to edit and I reset everything. Yes, I'm sure I want to reset everything. And then I start again based on my knowledge of plate boundaries and tsunamis and how this all works. I'm going to reset some sensors, test it, and do that all again by recording the coordinates, the cost, the warning time, the false alarms, and if all warnings were received. Okay guys, so that's your assignment for today, researching in Tsunami Alert. And if you need to, you can watch this video again to help you, but um, hopefully you have a clear direction on what to do. And this kind of helps you really focus in on where you're putting your sensors and paying attention um, by recording everything on this Google Doc.